Hey guys, welcome to Wrench to Drive, teeny tiny little car edition. Yes, my turbo racing cars ordered off a of Banggood God here, guys, and they are very, very impressive. This is uh, this is going to be a positive review, guys. Just so you know. Now, if you're like me, the biggest uh, delaying factor in getting into these guys it was the price at almost a uh, hundred dollars at one point it's a little steep guys a little steep even in teeny tiny Canadian pesos so what's the deal what are these bad boys worth right that's the ultimate question guys I gotta say when you have them in your hot little hands uh, that price doesn't seem as crazy as I once thought it did alright now if you're like me one of the things you want to know is how good is the steering really and I didn't actually see a video that showed how well the steering on these works guys that's a big selling feature look at how nicely proportional that steering is works really well guys really really well they drive quite nice now the only downside only downside could be a little bit faster in my humble opinion guys um, maybe a little faster and slide around a little bit because they really don't slide at all and uh, these tires are, are really scale guys I'm gonna try and zoom in here and show you I don't know if it's gonna work or not look at that they got a little tread on there guys look at that very very scale guys really really impressive the attention to detail on these is phenomenal they did a really nice job and these tires are grippy guys grippy I, I kind of thought I have some plans in mind and I'll, I'll show you coming down the road for sure I thought there'd be uh, some surfaces that these could slide around a little bit guys not so much tires are very very grippy now that might be a good thing you know it might be one of those deals where they're really hard to drive if they're sliding around because they are so tiny it's hard to say I'm sure they did a little research down at the old factory there guys the, the old R&D department so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rag on them too hard for that they do drive really nice guys the, con the level of control you have with these is really really good that steering works super super nice guys radio not bad I have no real complaint with it the only thing that I'm not crazy about is the AAA batteries it takes four AAA batteries they're very expensive where I live compared to AA batteries they cost a lot more double A's would be would be greatly appreciated um, that's just maybe that's just me guys I don't know so you know you can you can be the judge but this radio does work really well guys it's it seems uh, it seems pretty solid oops probably shouldn't do that um, this my first reaction it's good guys nice radio I got I got no complaint it works nice the uh, the feel is nice the you know control seems really good I'm gonna order one of the receivers and try it out for sure um, what I might do is buy one of the spiffier radios to go with the second car because I went with the two cars package for $80 Canadian so you get two cars a controller and you're good to go uh, pretty good deal guys in my opinion these cars are still just the car by itself is selling for uh, I think it's it's around 60 I think 50 to 60 which is a little pricey guys a little pricey so two cars and a radio for $80 was a really good deal guys that's what got me to pull the trigger for sure and just so you know, in the market, the way marketing works, guys, when something like this comes out brand shiny new, they're uh, they're selling the first adopters, people that are super into the hobby. They're going to shell out whatever money, basically, and they're gonna they're gonna make as much money as they can off those people while they're ironing out the bugs in manufacturing and manufacturing and getting things more efficient. And at some point, the prices are going to go down, and they're going to look to sell to every Tom, Dick, and Mary. Well, they're not quite there yet, guys. But as you can see, when they're including two cars. They're uh, clearly targeting people with a more limited budget. It'd be really nice to get two cars and two radios. Um, so at some point, I'm sure they're going to do that because uh, racing with your siblings or your buddies is going to be a, a huge selling feature, guys, or your parents or whatever. These things are really fun. To me, the marketing point is coffee table racing, guys. That's that's where these really are going to shine. Is you get a track going on your coffee table and you race little cars around. It's super fun. And uh, I've got some stuff coming down the pike, like I said, uh, I'll show you. Now, the quality of these, as you can see, hopefully, is pretty good, guys. And it's a, this is a nice little package. It's, uh, it's pretty well made, guys. And this is really small, guys, right? I'll keep that in mind. It's 
Smaller is always more difficult, even in manufacturing, right? So, not bad quality, guys. There's a couple of little scuff marks on the board there. Uh, hard to tell. Looks like rework from where I'm sitting, but uh, I'd have to look at it a little closer. But both cars work really well, guys. I'm going to say perfectly. They charge up real nice. It's got a USB, uh, the oval-shaped USB port comes with a cord, so you're good. Steering works really nice. Like I said, I'll show you again here. Very proportional, guys. Very proportional. Yeah, they work. They work well, guys. Okay, so the shining feature to me of these cars, guys, is that the detail on the body is really, really good. They look very nice. I'm really impressed with the body, guys, and I expected that. You know, when you see the pictures, they look really good. They absolutely live up to uh, to the expectations, guys. They're really sweet. Now, my only knock, this body is a little bit skinny. A little skinny this way, guys. Um, and you'll see when I compare it to my Hot Wheels Mini that I just happened to own for many, many years. It's a little skinny, guys. The Hot Wheels car, I think, looks more like a proper Mini. I'm not sure why that is. I don't know why they would have done that. Um, I'm not going to hazard a guess, guys, but minor criticism. Um, takes away from the realism a little bit. The wheels are just a little bit small, in my opinion. Takes away from the realism just very slightly. That's minor criticism, guys. These are really, really nice quality. They look... They look so good. They got the LED headlights and taillights. How do you not like that? How do you not like that? That's my question for you. Because, I mean, I don't even care about lights, but these look so good. Look at that turbo racing on the, on the, on the, on the license plate there. Such a high level of detail, guys. These look fantastic. Like I said, the level of detail, very impressive. Really nice little cars. The attention to detail is, is absolutely phenomenal. They they really look good. They drive nicely. You know, I am not even even a little bit disappointed with these guys. The manual's really good. The English is a little dicey, guys. Um, it's not bad, though. It's, uh, you know, it's a totally usable manual. The quality's really good. They show you the taking the car apart, breaking it down, guys. All the parts. Right? So... Really nice guys, really nice. No complaints there whatsoever. Much better manual than you get with a lot of stuff guys. And for the money, it should be, right? And uh, the packaging is really good as you can see. It's got nice uh, nice foam, foam lining, foam for the car. And this particular uh, set comes with a spare body. Which, uh, I don't know, at some point I'll, I'll take a crack at... Uh, at painting it we'll see I don't know it's gonna be a challenge guys it's super super tiny yeah um, so nice you know packaging is nice the box is, uh, is is quality you know relatively speaking it's a cardboard box you know it's only gonna be so exciting but you know a lot of a lot of the stuff that comes out of China comes with really cheap packaging you know nothing to get excited about whatsoever guys whereas this is this is pretty nice, you know. It's it's all it's all pretty pretty serious, guys. So, so to me, two cars and a radio for eighty dollars is a pretty damn good deal, guys. I would say, you know, if they get these to the to a package where you get two cars, two radios for a hundred dollars Canadian, round seventy American, something like that, I would jump at that, guys. I would absolutely jump at that because that, you know, then you got two cars, you can drive with your buddies. The only downside to this offer is you only get one radio, so you're going to have to buy another radio. About the cheapest I can get one in Canada is around $40, $45 Canadian, so that takes the price up to $125. Not bad. You know, I think, honestly, if this, if this appeals to you, that is not a bad price whatsoever because they are super cool. So, how do I rate them, guys? How do I rate them? Well, on a cool factor, 10 out of 10. These are very, very cool, guys. They work super well these are by far the best little car that's been put out in as far as i can remember uh, i might be i might be missing something guys if you if you if you can think of a a small car that in in from past years that that seems superior in your in your memory hey comment guys to me this is the best one so by far guys the proportional steering the proportional control it's it's an impressive little car guys 
Then, level of detail. Really good, guys. Really good. Like, these are such nice little bodies. And my only criticism is that it's not totally to scale. It's not a perfectly scaled mini, guys. It's a little bit skinny, right? How much do I take off for that? Because otherwise, it's like the quality, the finish is so good. I mean, these little guys look better than some 10th scale cars, guys. They're that good. They look so good, guys. So, I mean, I'm tempted to take off, you know, uh, uh, just a, a small mark because, you know, the scale's a little off, but they're so nice, I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna give them a 10 out of 10 on, on, on finish and quality, guys. They look so good. So 10 out of 10 for cool, 10 out of 10 for quality. For driving, now for driving, I can't give it a 10 for driving. Um, it's good, really good, guys. Steering is really good. My only beef, uh, I would like a little more speed. Uh, and I know you can get a mo an upgraded motor for these things and pop it in there. I'll probably do that at some point. Um, I would like to see the car slide a little bit. I'd like to have, you know, the potential for lack of control, guys. That's just me, the, the RC car guy, the hardcore RC car guy. Maybe these are perfect. Maybe these are just right, considering that most people who drive them aren't going to be skilled enough to actually control it if it's, you know, if it's, if it's much faster. Ah, tough call, guys. So in terms of drivability, I'm going to take off two marks, guys. Two marks, because it, it just could be a little bit faster. And it's a little too glued to the road for my liking. It's like driving a little go-kart, guys. Like, you, you know, traction is, is your absolutely your least, your least concern. It, you know, it's like a fresh set of tires on a little go-kart. You know, you can, you can go as fast as you want, turn the wheel as hard as you can, and the thing's just going to turn. The back end is not going to come out, guys. So, I give it an 8, 8.5 eight out of 10, something like that. It's really good, guys. Drives really nice, and I'll, I'll put plenty of, uh, of driving footage coming down the pike, guys. So driving, I give it an 8.5 out of 10, guys. 10 out of 10 for cool. Uh, 10 out of 10 for attention to detail. 8.5 out of 10 for driving. Value. Value, guys. I always like to rate things on value. $80 for two little cars and a radio, guys. It's pretty good value. These are really nice little cars. I don't know what the bottom line is. I don't know how cheap they can eventually sell these for, but it's not as cheap as a little Coke can car because they're way better. Way, way better. There's definitely a point where I don't think you're going to get it much cheaper. And I think uh, from the company perspective, the way to do it is to also include a receiver. That way you can use the radio for more than one vehicle. Uh, these radios, you can order receivers. They're not super expensive. They're they're about 15 bucks Canadian. Uh, that's not a bad price, and I would expect they work really nicely, guys, because these the control on these cars is really good. And I'll show you some running footage, and you know they they work really nice, guys. So I, there's no reason to think a bigger car wouldn't work well with this radio. Um, they're using triple A's, not double A's. That's a very very minor criticism. Yeah, I mean value. I give these a solid nine, a solid nine, guys. Yeah, so I mean the overall score, I haven't actually put it on paper, but I mean these are like a solid 9 out of 10. Like, you know, that might be a little too harsh. 9, 9 and a half. They are that good. They really are. Um, they're not cheap, guys. You're going to have to spend some money. Um, you know, you have to be the judge. I could see the potential for, for getting bored with them because they're little. They can only do so much. But if you like building tracks, if you like... Uh, you know, if, if you have friends over and you like racing on the coffee table and stuff, ah, these would be fun for a while, I think. I really do. I mean, they're way more fun than slot cars, guys. And, I mean, I think in the vast scheme of things, they're probably cheaper. So, there you go. That's my nickels worth. They are awesome. I give them high marks, guys. I would definitely recommend getting into these if you are uh, even remotely interested and have the money. I mean, if you have a, if you have better things to spend your money on, spend them on better things, guys. Because these are these are totally a novelty item, a cute little thing. You know, a lot of people they're going to spend a lot of time sitting on the shelves. If you really like driving RC cars, guys like me, I I can see myself driving these a lot because I'm making a little coffee table track. Uh, there's some videos coming, uh, picture frame track, so you can hang it on the wall when you're not using it. 3D printable parts, guys. That's coming down the pike for sure. Stay tuned. I I hardly ever say this, but like and subscribe. Check out my Thingiverse. I'll put a link below. Uh, definitely follow me on Thingiverse if you're interested in in uh, tracks and stuff for these little cars, guys. Because uh, there'll be plenty of stuff coming. It's uh, 
you know these are these are pretty neat guys pretty neat I'm definitely uh, I'm sold so yeah that's it for wrench to drive tiny car edition guys thanks for tuning in that's a review there will be running videos coming hopefully this isn't too boring we'll see you next time on wrench to drive where we ask the eternal question do you drive to wrench or do you wrench to drive <laughs>